Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and in today's video, I'm going to jump straight into it. I ordered £105 worth of makeup of Makeup Revolution and as you can see, quite a lot. So I'm going to just go through what I got and how much majority of it was. I can't remember all the prices but I'll go through it anyway. So I ordered this when they were free for two and I had a huge discount as well so yeah this is £150 worth of makeup but I got it for 105 so I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 products to show you what I got. So this is like a revolution haul. Yes! As you well know, I am obsessed with Makeup Revolution. It's the cheapest, the most affordable, and the stuff's really good. So I can't really complain to any of it. So excuse the hair on the mess because I just bunged it up to do this video. Um, yeah, as you can see my long name on the front. I love Makeup Revolution. I could just literally wear it all day long. So, yay. So if you do like this video, please like and subscribe for future videos. So let's get started. So the first thing I got was £4.50. And I love their water bottles. I got the marble one in a gift set, as you can see in previous videos. And so I decided to buy the Rose... Is it the Rose Gold one? I suppose it's the Rose Gold one. Yeah. Doop. Another water bottle for work. These are so handy when I'm on the bus and I just want some water. I just literally take it out, drink, done. It's so worth it. It keeps it cool as well, which is even better. So always wash it before you use it. So that's one, that was £4.50. Can't complain to that. So that's my first one. Um, my second one is this Precious Stone Rose Court Blending Sponge. I thought this was so cute and it was really cheap. Don't ask me how much this one was because I can't remember. As I say, I can't remember all the prices. I do remember some of them. Ugh. If I can open it. Ugh. See if it goes over the case. So cute. Look at this. So adorable. Love it. Come on, camera, focus. There it is. It is so, so cute. Oh my god, it opens up like that. Oh. I'll wash it before I use it anyway. Always wash your stuff before you use. But I love the casing. I think it's so cute. Adorable. And it's raining here. So if you hear rain on the windows, I apologise. But yeah, that's the other thing. I think it was like three quid or something. I can't remember how much it was. But anyway. Let's get to the next one. I also got the Jake Jamie Fruit Revitalize and Essence Spray. I heard really good things about this and I also have other Revolution ones as well which are here. I have this one which is the Rose Hip one. These are really nice. This has kept my face really fresh and less, less dryness if I say. And it smells so good as well. Mmm. Refreshing. Love it. Go for the Makeup Obsession All Blur Blur Stick Primer, which is this one, which is a substitute really. I think it does exactly the same thing as I said. I've never tried it. I've tried it on my wrist, my face. So when I put my makeup on, I'll give it a go and I'll let you know. If not, I'll do a video on it. It's up to you. But yeah, you get 30 grams in it. It's quite a lot. So yeah, I thought that was a bargain. Yeah, and I like the white. I don't like black. I like the white. So that's that one. Don't ask me how much it was because, as again, I can't remember all the prices. Um, I could go back to my emails and check, but that just takes too much time. I haven't got time because I want to do a next video of makeup. So, yes. So that's that one. Um, my next one was the Obsession Pore Reducing and the Anti Redness because. As you can see, I've got red cheeks. I've always had them. I can't get rid of them. I've tried every skin product you could possibly imagine. And I can't get rid of it. So I bought these two. See if it reduces the redness. 
I say, I've got really red cheeks and obviously I'm like tan at the moment so I don't have any makeup on. But yeah, I thought I'd give this a go. But when I opened these, they were very liquid, uh, a watery liquid came out. So you shake them before you actually uh, open them up because you're going to get all this white clear stuff. But yeah, you get 30 mils in these. I thought I'd give them a go. Makeup Obsession is a part of Revolution, so it's their sister brand. Love it. So that's those two. And then I also got the concealer in Makeup Obsession, Mega Conceal, light wear concealer with caffeine. More caffeine? More caffeine. <laughs> So yeah, I got this in a 02 and the Dofa applicator is very weird. It's like round and it's it's like slanted, so it's like basically like a spoon. But yeah, for um try that concealer out. At the moment I'm on uh, L'Oreal's concealer. Love this for my eyes. Don't use it under my eyes, I just use it as a base. But it always works. My makeup just looks brilliant when it's on. So yeah, got that. Get quite a bit in there. Get 13 mils. So yeah, worth it. So that's my makeup obsession. So my next one is oh god, it's too many. Revolution Sense Intense Acid Pill. I've never heard of this. And it's a new, I guess it's a new line because I've never seen it on their website. This is the first time I've seen it. It's a weekly peeling for sensitive skin. I have sensitive skin. So as you can see, I've got all this redness around here. So hopefully it'll make my makeup go on better if I use this. Comes in a bottle like that. I think it's got a little pipette on it. So this is the first time I'm opening it. So, so this all this stuff I've just got is just come in today. So I am recording this on the day I got it. So, yep, yeah, don't uh, pip it. Doesn't really smell much, but I'm gonna see if it makes any difference. Do not put it near your eyes. And you get 30 mils in there, so I'm going to give that a go later as well. See how it turns out. I might even do a little video just on that. So, that's another one. And obviously on their website, they've got a new line. It's called XX. I've never heard of it, because obviously I haven't been on there for a while. Um, I've tried to keep out of the online shopping makeup, because I've got too much of it. So, this is the XX range. I kind of went a bit obsessive with this lot. I have all of these. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> £105 worth of makeup. What are you going to expect? <laughs> um, yeah. So I have all of these. Ooh, without dropping it. And I also got their Ultra Coverage Concealer. A little pot there. And I got that in like beige. I thought I'd give it a go. I have opened this and I had a look at the colour inside because obviously you can't really see it. And it's also still sealed. So hopefully, if I don't use it under my eyes, I could always use it as a base for my eyes. So yeah, got that. Cute little pot. You get, how much, oh here it is. 11 grams. So net weight of 0.39 ounces. Quite a little cute little pot. Let's see if this works. So the next one is the primer, natural radiant. It enhances the skin loving ingredients, nourishes skin with moisturizer, hot whilst upholding the makeup in place. Collagen, antioxidant, and coconut. This is the moisturizing primer. I did open the bottom. Okay, that did go to Palan. There we go. Just for the box there. It's a cute packaging. Nice. I'm still pumping. Oh, we're getting somewhere. Feels nice and creamy. 
but it's very white, uh, very light coconut. Oh my god, putting coconut on your face. Oh, it smells so good. Oh, I think I'm gonna like this. Because as you remember, I have real hard problems trying to find a foundation that doesn't look cakey on my face. Is that a I can't do it. I don't wear foundation outside because it's always cakey and I'm very paranoid if someone says, like, oh, your face looks horrible. And that's not me being negative, that's just my own personal opinion. But I love the package, it's got like a bit of holographic in it and you get 30 mils in there, so I'll give that a go. I might even do a whole full face off this XX, for, you know, whole of revolutions face, but I don't have bronzer, I have my own bronzer. So next one, I got I matched these to my face. So hang on, let me just. I've got the Illuminous foundation. I also got the two of the double fix foundations because I uh, got two different types of these ones because I was matching how what I think would go in my face, and then I did the quiz at the bottom and. I actually picked out a different one, so we'll find out which one actually fits my face. Yay! But yeah, these were quite expensive, but then I had a discount code, so I got it a little bit cheaper, a bit half the price. So let's have a look at the uh, luminous one first. This is the pink packaging. Its packaging outside is amazing, and it's just like this. Always shake it. Excuse my bingo wings. Like, and I've got this in FX 5.7. Obviously, I'm a little bit darker than normal. I'm usually lighter than this. But let's give this a pump. Pump, pump, pump. Oh, didn't want that much, but... It's quite thick. Feels thick. And there you go. Obviously, skin's a bit darker than normal. I didn't want to go too dark because my, this tan will just go. So, but it feels good. It feels quite soft. It's very. It is scented. I can't think of the scent. It smells good though. I bet I make it wet, but but that feels really nice on skin. It feels lightweight. It doesn't feel like you've got anything on your hand. Obviously I have, but as you can see, it's really light. But I'm sure it'd be fine once it's on. Once it settles, see if it acts as an antiox, oxidize. Yeah. Not bad, it smells really nice. That was in 5.7. Yeah. Throw that one away. Actually, I better not. Unless they're different. Let's go for the F5. And this is the double fix. I did open the bottom of these boxes, but they're really hard to... Oh, I'd tell a difference. Because... The luminous has got a pink lid and this has got a black lid. So that's a good sign because I would get mixed up. <laughs> I'm stupid like that. Again, same. A little bit of condensation at the top here. I don't know if you can see, but on the top, it's a little bit wet. Just around the edges. very weird it's like it's been sitting there god not again yeah it's very strange I'm still going to give it a give good shake This one looks darker. It's actually more my colour right now. That is a perfect 
it's a little bit light but you can always dark it up with a bit of tint or something but yeah that's pretty sick to be fair and that one's in five fx5 wow I, I can't wait to try this god it's just it's literally sunk into my skin like i, I can't even see it on my hand it's just like i can go around like that and i wouldn't even notice it was there wow so far i'm impressed but the only ultimate question is is it gonna cake on my face i don't know but i hope it doesn't because i need a foundation that's actually gonna suit my skin <laughs> anyway let's go on to the next one this one is the 5.7 fx 5.7 again this is a double fix i thought i'd get two different types because i can always blend them or mix them up this looks lighter than that one mm. again give it a shake bingo wings bingo wings bingo wings just dry that hand Pump in, pump, pump it up, pump it up. This seems more of a lighter shade. But yeah, creamy consistency. But to be honest, I think the other one's more suitable tone. This one's a lot more lighter, as you can see. So my skin tone is completely different every time so in the winter i'm lighter but in the summer i'm a lot darker so it's good to have two different types you can always mix them to get your right shade but yeah and it's funny that the f5 and the f5.7 the f.57 is lighter than the five which i find a little bit weird but it does smell really nice this reminds me of the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I do have that. Hmm. A lot more light. You could probably use this as a concealer, to be fair. But yeah. So far, I've liked the consistency, but it's just about how it's going to sit. Right, let's get that off so as you can see that's what those two, three foundations are like so as you can see cute packaging i think this is like a as you can hear weird it's hard to subscribe subscribe and it's only six months as well which is quite weird because usually foundations are a lot longer than that usually it's like 12 months but yeah, I would use them pretty sharpish because I've obviously got a pound shop one and it was six months and it went mouldy. So yeah, keep an eye on your foundation, girlies or boys, whoever likes to wear makeup. Anyway, let's continue. And then I've got a concealer, concealer, and I've got this in 0.2. Again. I don't know what this looks like because I've never seen it. So this is going to be a bit of a shocker for me. If I can get the damn thing out. Oh, here we go. Oh, this is pretty. Same sort of packaging as the uh, foundations. Oh, it's got the black lids. Love the black lids. But the pink one looks cute too. Give that a good shake. Yep. CX 0.2. Let's see what the dope applicator is. Yeah. Oh my god, look. How are you going to see that? Camera keeps focusing on me, so apologies for that. Look how weird that dope applicator is. Look at that. That is so weird. It's like, it's like a shoe. If you look at this way, it's like a shoe. So weird. 
Anyway. God, that is really weird. <laughs> I've never seen a dope applique like that. <laughs> and as you can see, on my hand. Should I put it on that bit because I can't move my arm around. Again, quite thick. I think it's buildable. I'm not too sure. I didn't even read the packaging. But yeah, it's quite light. Let's just put some there. Get rid of my dark circles. I'll take it off in a minute, but I just wanted to see what it was like. Just tapping with the finger, probably the wrong finger to tap with, but hey ho, who cares? It's just, yeah, it is buildable. Could probably use this as a yeah, base for your eyes too. You can see my pores through that. My paws are huge, by the way. I actually find that quite nice. I just don't even feel like I've got anything on my face. Probably look like an idiot right now, but who cares? I'm doing a video! But yeah, use your paw, paw primer first before we put that on. So what's on my head? But yeah, that is nice. If it doesn't even feel like you've got anything on your face, it reminds me of uh, oh, maybe my infallible, but my infallible bit a little bit thicker. But that reminds me. Oh, what does it remind me of? I don't know. I'll probably come to me eventually. So that is all the face. Um, and my next two are palettes. <sighs> I love my palettes. I love my palettes, as you all know. And I've been trying to get these palettes. One of the palettes was so expensive. I didn't want to buy it until it went down in price. And I finally got it down in price. So, yeah. The first one is World Animal Palette. And you get 18 in this. Um, as I was saying, this packaging is, like, insane. Oh my god, my favourite colour is blue. And this blue-ish purple around the the edges hello this is so cute love it oh my god i want to just display it i don't even want to use it right let's see because i haven't really seen the colors so it's just going to be a bit of a shock oh my god wow oh my god that blue looks sick Oh my god, they look so pretty. Oh my god. Sorry. Just. Wow. That's just pretty. The freaking mirror. Look at that. That is like. Woo. Oh my god. Hello. These are pressed pigments as well. You get 12 months. Uh. Wow, just wow. I'm shocked. And the mirror is humongous. I would show you the mirror, but I'm just going to be showing you what I'm actually looking at. But mirror is like, hello. You can see every orifice of my face. That's not a good sign. Oh my God. This is like, hello. Oh my God, that is such a cute colour. Oh my God, this one in the corner here looks so nice. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine shimmers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mattes. Wow. Wow. Just, just the whole package in itself. Like, really? This, this trim, just like, what? Oh my god, that's so going to be displayed on the side. I ain't even going to touch it. I just want it displayed because it looks so cute. Oh my god, this, this blue is insane. I want this blue. Can can I just ask Revolution where this blue is so I can just stick it on my car? Because I have a blue car as well. And wow, I just want the blue. That blue, the metallic blue. Oh. Wow, I really want that blue. That is so insane. Wow, just amazing. Yeah, 
Oh my god. Right, over that one. <laughs> Next one, I've got the Alexis Stone. Is it? I'm not going to pronounce this one. I'm going to apologise because I am literally only got up like an hour ago and this got delivered with my shopping. And I'm just like, yes, doing a video straight away. And I look like pants and yeah. So, as you can see, got the. I've been waiting for this palette to go down because it's like 20 quid and I didn't really want to pay 20 quid for it. And it went down to 14 quid on the, in the sale and I was just like, yeah. And then I got a discount code so I got it even cheaper. So, yeah. I'm happy with that. But I didn't get the uh, metallics to go with this. I didn't want to get the metallics. I wanted just this palette itself because I've seen so many people raving about it. But I wanted to try it. So you get 28. I like doing that, but then I got to clear up. So. Press pigments and cruelty free, vegan, 12 months expiry. And I think everyone's already seen this, but wow! Hello, Sailor. I've got quite a few like bright palettes, but this is like. It's a little bit dirty on the on the edges, but I think that's just to do with shipping. I don't know, but look at these tones. It's like you got your red, you got your pink, you got your purple, you got your greys, and black. Oh, it's quite a sharp black. Then you got your blues, your greens. It's like a rainbow. I think that's the theme he went for. Oh, yeah, I think it's a he. I'll edit that bit. But yeah, amazing, absolutely amazing. I can't wait. So if you wanted to just do a red look with different red tones, you can go for that. Or you can just go for like a mustard, like, or you can mix it up. It doesn't really matter. You get the darker tones down here. Then you get the next sort of like the, how can I explain it? The crease, like darkening it up. Then you get the like, lead sort of colours and then you get the like the light colours that you can stick just in the corners or whatever look you're doing it's going to be so good but oh my god and the mirror's insane as well so I mean my ring light but yeah I am happy with this so that is my whole revolution haul I did get quite a bit of stuff so I'm so excited to just try any of this out but yeah, I'm just gonna end this video quickly now that I've got all this £105 worth of makeup. Can't complain, I've got so many videos to go. So I'm gonna do a whole video, hopefully, if I have the energy, whole video of this, of course. I'm gonna see if it sits using only their product. And then I'm gonna try the Obsession, this one, the blur stick. So hopefully that works too. So it sits on my face quite nicely. So yeah, hope you enjoyed this video haul thing, you me jiggy. Excuse me. Red Bull gives you wings. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you do want to see more of these sort of haul videos, I do have two more parcels still to come. I'm still waiting. One's Sheen and then the one is Miss A. I don't know if anyone's heard of Miss A, but it's all over TikTok. So I'm still waiting for them to come, but they're still in shipping. So we don't know when that's going to happen. But yeah, if you want me to do a full face of makeup, then I'm quite happy to do that. Leave a comment, like this, subscribe. You know the drill. I don't like to nag, but hey ho! We're nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. Okay, I've gone crazy now. So yeah. Oh, if you would like to see my whole collection of my makeup, then please tell me and I will do a video on that. But you've got to leave a comment for me to do that. So, that is it. I don't think I've got anything else to say. But I am going to try this pill stuff. I'm going to do that now and, yeah, I'll let you know my thoughts on that one. But yeah, hope you enjoyed this video. Peace out.